Hey guys, it's FIFA Rally here and welcome to episode 4 in my Rio run and we start this episode off by heading on into the knockout stages of the World Cup. We're into the round of 16th and we get our first chance in the 9th minute. Gabi Adini on the ball, he stops inside the box and in the end the ball falls to Fellaini. He goes in between two defenders, a ball will drag back past another one before he sends it into the top corner with the outside of his foot. So a nice little goal there and we continue on in this game. We play Gabi Adini on through and he will chip his keeper to give me a two goal lead. So a very good start to the round of 16th and into the second half we kept on creating chances. We'll play it to Fellaini goes past one defender, stops up, tries out the shot, but it is straight on the key. But we're not done in this game. It's Asamoah on the ball. He's able to hang on to it. He'll go past defender inside the box, and we chest it up for the bicycle kick, but it is wide off the goal, unfortunately. Adea gets another chance uh, on the ball here, and he will go past two defenders inside the box. We get it into the box, chest it up again. But once again, we could not find the tar target with the bicycle kick, unfortunately. Still, we got some good chances in this game. We scored some alright goals as well. And that means that we are on through into the quarterfinals of the tournament. And we'll play that game as well. We apply a contract there. And apart from that, I swapped a few players around just for fitness reasons, as you can see here. And... Um, Eventually, we'll get ready to play a game. We end up on 76 chemistry in a 4-4-2 formation in the end. And we go in into the quarterfinals. And in this match, we're going to face a mix of European and uh, South American players. And guess what I will concede in the ninth minute? It's a header. It's the only thing I seem to concede on this game. But he goes up 1-0. But in the 14th minute, we find Idaya. It's a little bit lacking, but we get a shot in on Unfortunately, it is saved, but we continue on in this half. It's Gabbiadini turning around, playing it on through to Asamoah, and we get a go back to make it 1-1. Idaya on the ball once again, even though he only got two-star skills, he's still a fun player to use. He's able to go past players with his good dribbling, I feel, but yeah, of course, it would be nice if he had the three-star skills. But Utaka on the ball here, he plays it to Kuamaitian. I'm not too sure how I'm supposed to pronounce it, but uh, the shot is saved. But into the second half, it's a die on the ball. Two fake shots to go past three defenders. He takes on a fourth one, tries out the shot, lucky to get back onto it, and we go up to one. Nice stuff there from a die straight from the kickoff. And we get another chance playing Gabi Adini on through. And despite the lag, we're able to chip the keeper, make it 3 1. And it's get a comfortable lead. And that would hold all the way until full time. So that means we're into the semi final. Some good play here in the knockout stages. And uh, we won both the games quite comfortably. And uh, yeah, that means, as I said, we're into the semi finals. But before we play that, we open up the two free packs we got from the games we just played. And we do not really get anything outstanding oh well we get uh, Giroud which is all right and for a center back and I do actually think I will play him eventually alongside with a boa ting but uh, yeah I go into the next game I'm just changing the formation around a little bit uh, playing in a 4-3-3 formation here um, linking a few players up with Seko here, getting the African players out, playing a bit more of a European side. And we actually do get uh, Giroud into the side here. And eventually we have a lineup that I wanted to use in in the semi-finals. 91 chemistry, I think that is the best we've been able to reach so far. So yeah, we have sort of a team to play with. And I backed out of the first game because of a two-bar latency. But we found a new opponent and we go into the semi-finals and look at that team he had a lot of good players into that side and he would cross it in and head it in seven minutes played another header conceded and then I got with a very bad clearance there from my key by thought it would go further it didn't he picked it up and 2-0 it was it didn't look too good in this game and it's really tough to play against this guy but we get a chance with Asamoah trying out a shot but it is straight on the key but he will save and instead Another header from a corner and he's up 3-0 and here thought he was going to cross it again but a nice little fake shot he goes up 4-0. I just, I couldn't compete with this guy in this match unfortunately and it just didn't go my way. I get a chance with Seko, I try out the shot, it goes up for a corner and from that 
we'll get a bit of a sloppy goal to, yeah, just make the scoreline look a little bit better. But he surely did deserve to win the game. And, yeah, I just had a very difficult time playing against this guy. So we are knocked out of the tournament. But we do get 3,000 coins. And uh, we also get a free pack as per usual. And in that pack, we do not really get anything interesting. But we go out, we open up a pack with the coins we have. And we get a few extra players for our team. We get a better European goalkeeper. But apart from that, there's not too much in the pack we could use too much. But um, we're going into the group stages uh, to see if we can get back into the knockout stages. Hopefully advance a little bit further. So we swap a few players around here. We get our new keeper in. And uh, eventually we do have a lineup we can play with. Again, it's due to fitness. We're swapping a lot of players around in the squad. Just trying to, to have it to work out. And we have a lot of Europeans in. It gives us some good chemistry. And then Utaka and Idaya linking nicely up together as well. And then we head on in to the first group stage match. Up against a very solid South American squad. And it ends at nil to nil. Not much stuff happening there. And we only get one point from our first group stage game. So, yeah, not too much stuff happening in the game. There were a few chances back and forth, but it was not really anything interesting. So, yeah, we, we get one point. We open up the free pack. And in that pack, we do get Eddie Johnson. So, we do now have another four-star skiller in our club. As a moment, Eddie Johnson, not uh, bad there. And we'll, of course, be playing him straight away because... Well, another four-star skiller. I really wanted to give him a go. So he gets into the squad. We get Edu to link up with him. And, of course, our chemistry is going to suffer a little bit for it. But still, I think we'll be all right. We get a South American defense in. Uh, and then we are pretty much ready to go into a game. We pretty much have most of the different continents represented in our lineup here. And we come up against an insane European side uh, with a lot of good players. Ronaldo being one of them. But it's Eddie Johnson with the first chance. And he scores to make it 1-0. A few skill moves. And he's on the ball again here. Going past three defenders. He breaks into the box. But unfortunately, he will save my shot. And a few minutes later, he just runs down the other wing with Ronaldo. He was just way too fast. And he can shoot it across goal to make a 1-1, unfortunately. But we get onto the ball. Johnson plays it on Futoa. Sender back. Zapata goes past defender. And look at that crazy shot from the center back. Right into the top corner to make it 2-1. And straight from the kickoff, he tried for the through ball. But I'll get on to it. Johnson picks it up here. He plays it on through to Gabbiadini. And we hit the post, unfortunately. It goes out for a corner. And straight from that, headers OP. We get a third goal. We make it 3-1. And that means we win against a very strong European side. We're sitting on four points. And it looks kind of all right. And that is pretty much going to be where we end off this episode, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. I think we got uh, some better gameplay compared to the last one. One, especially in the first few games and we get Jagielka in our final pack and that is going to be the end thank you for watching and I'll talk to you later